Hello my beautiful people and welcome to a brand new game to us, Noble Fates. So it's a mix of uh, city building, um, a little bit of kind of clan battles, uh, we do get attacked and raided and things like that. It's quite cool. Like I say, it's an early access game, the developers are working on it. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I've played the tutorial, got a couple of hours into it and then I want to set away a series so you guys can see it. Um, stick with the intro. The intro isn't anything like the game. It's just going to give you a little bit of background. Um, but I promise you, it's nothing kind of like the game itself. When I was watching it for the first time, I was like, oh my god, what's it going to be? But yeah, um, it's a little bit cartoonish, but I, I promise you, it isn't like that. Um, there's building, farming, uh, crafting, all that as well. So it's um, it's been quite cool. Yeah, so this is us. So the kind of demigod jumps, um, can control um, his link, his mortal link on Earth sort of thing. So this is the last time he was. The plant and floppers were so skilled at archery. So I think we can die in it. I think, you know, the clan can get wiped out. So it's starting to get towards it now. So these four people have left their clan, the Mange Drifters, to set out a new beginning. So these are going to be our peeps. Um, we will choose one of them to be our leader. Um, the whole game's about prestige. I'll explain it as we get into the game. Um, so they've got likes and dislikes, they need to have certain items to keep them happy that you've got a craft or whatever. And they've all got skills, building skills, farming skills, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot going on, we've got to kind of keep them happy, watch for the likes and dislikes. Again, this is just the intro, this is not the game, I promise. So we need to decide which one is going to be our leader. And as the Contra is the kind of god, we can jump into the body of that person. Um, it'll all make sense when the game starts. Now, it'll let us hover over them in a second, and then we'll find out what skills they've got, which and what they like and dislike, and we'll decide who's going to lead us. So he's good at hunting, crafting, and logging. Cool. Uh, nursing, logging, and cleaning. Crafting, logging, and cleaning. Logging, foraging, and cooking. Um, spoiler alert, three of these will join us, one of them will leave. So crafting and logging's quite cool. Nursing, logging, and cleaning. Hunting, crafting, and logging. Doesn't like farming. Anybody who likes farming. Oh. Right. I'm going to go for the crafting guy. And he likes hunting. Yeah, so we're going to go for Punk. And um, we'll get a little bit of speech about Spoots not going to follow us. So yeah, we're going to pick Punk as the leader. He'll get the crown. Henceforth, call me. Uh, we'll change it up to what, Chieftain. Yeah. And uh, we'll change his name to GD. We'll give him a dad. And then we should be able to pick. These are all just saying well done. And we should be able to pick our clan name. The Noble Gulfs. No. 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 There's um, loads of kind of random. We can tap over type it and find us something. But... The Frosty Cutters. That'll do. 
Right. So Spoot's basically saying he wouldn't follow us for love nor money. Right. Now we've got uh, four options. We can either execute Spoot, none of them like that, detain him, send him away without supplies or with his supplies. So we're going to send him away with his supplies. He was one of the brothers who left the last clan and joined us. There we go. And then we should get into the game. Okay, so this is the game. See what I mean? It's nothing like, nothing like the intro. So this is the land area. Um, we can build up and we can dig down. So it's 3D. There's 16 levels. We can go kind of up or down, mining and all sorts. Build underground, above ground, and there's also a tutorial. But I'm not going to follow the tutorial. I'll learn the basics I need to learn, and we'll, we'll learn the rest of it from there. Okay, so that's spoot away. I'll, I will go through all the buttons and everything and show you, but we need to find somewhere to kind of to start building. Somewhere with a bit of food and a bit of... And down on the bottom. I fancy being down on the very bottom level. So I think we'll start somewhere in here. Yeah, Coolio. Yeah, we've got a few bo bits of bobs there. Right then, so... <clears throat> here we go. The first thing we need to build... I'll get the guys together, so I'm just pressing my shift button and I'll fetch them all across here. We need to build a stockpile. I will go through every button before the end of this episode, just so you know. Um, I'm going to put a stockpile kind of here for now. Okay, I'm just a small one. Click on it and allow all items and the guys will get stuff. Now, this uh, fallen log, if we double click it, it'll highlight everything in the screen. And we can see it. Press the E button to gather or click it, and the guys are going to gather in that. Now, I need to work on a shelter. So, in the build structure, floors, we can do wooden floors. So, where we're we going to put our first one down. I think it'll give myself a bit of space. Probably is here. And this is just going to be a communal kind of. I'm going to do 7x5, quite big. So, the guys will collect the wood, they'll start to build this. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what I mean by prestige and the kind of basics. So, if I click on GD and go to his prestige, this is the level that he wants, 24, and his ambition is 8. So, he's, what he's got now is above what he, his minimum requirements are, so he's happy. So, if I quickly go into this button here, which is belongings, this will tell you what we have in our kingdom. And these are the guys here. Every one of these is prestige. So you add them together, it comes to 24. They will make demands on us. So it'll come up um, kind of down here that they want a bed or they want a decoration or they want a house or whatever it may be. We've got to kind of keep up with that. So we need to craft and all this kind of loveliness. We also need to get food. So we'll need to farm and we can hunt. These are what they call October berry bushes. So if I double click all the ones on my screen, and then forage the guys will do that so the first two buttons i want to set up um with you guys is jobs so if we come in here it's autonomous so these colors here mean they hate it or they dislike it or whatever it may be so i want to make sure that they've got no jobs on that they hate or dislike and they don't and then i want to make sure the ones that they're good at the ones and things they have got highlighted so yeah looks pretty much okay People will come and visit us, um, and then they'll show up on this file here, this kind of button here, um, and it has a list of them. We can try and recruit them, and if we don't recruit them, why they're visiting us, they will kind of gather stuff for us and put it into the um, stockpile area, so that's quite cool. So at the minute, we've set away to try and get some food forage, to try and get some um, dead wood picked up. We'll also, the trees will show you an age. If there are hundreds, um, that's kind of the max age. So anything over 90 I'll chop down. Because that will give us the, the most benefit. Rather than try to chop young trees down. And we'll get some of them going. And we can collect things. Um, so this here is uh, cotton bushes. So we can forage them as well. And that will give us materials for crafting. So that's the basics. We're basically aware. So we need to keep an eye on this. It says one year's worth of food, and that isn't a lot. That's like tiniest amounts. It's ridiculous. 
So must keep an eye on that. We can hunt and we can um, tame animals and, and we can set fields up as well. So we'll do all of that. And mining wise, <clears throat> this level here, I'm going to kind of take that away and we can dig down as well. Um, it, it's quite cool. I'll show you as we do it because it'll, be, it'll kind of be hard to explain. It's easy to show. So we'll set them away. Oh, so that deer there, we can try and tame that. We need to learn all this stuff, so the guys will get individual kind of job skills. As they go up a level, it'll randomly increase either, you know, crafting or building or logging or whatever it may be. Um, it'll even increase ones that they don't like, so it's, that's all random. But that's what we're working on. We need to craft their equipment, build them places that they like, and then they'll make demands on us and say, I want this, I want that, within a time frame. Um, I'll show you the next couple of buttons. So, as the guys are building... Animals, if the guys have seen an animal, um, it'll click it and it'll be there. So we'll try and tame it or hunt it or whatever it may be. So that's the animal side of it. The next button is quite cool. This is everything we can do. So at the minute we can do corn, uh, decorative food, deotainment. When it says we can do it, it means the game says we can do it. However, the guys have to individually learn everything that they don't know. So he'll get a couple of cogs above his head and it's basically him learning a new task. So that's that part of it. The next bit is um, recent events. If anything happens, it'll go in there. Down the bottom is the build. Each one we'll go into and we'll, we'll cover all this off. Um, work is you can dig, farm, fight fire or build a pasture. So I do want to get a farm down. I also want to kind of cover us for a... Um, a, a better area. This is just temporary. The um, but the farms will be kind of permanent. So, and we can move them. I'm not not shy about moving stuff. So we'll do a four before farm. There's only certain things we can do at the start. So we can do corn. I'm going to create that. If we've got the corn seeds and I've got four, somebody will f till the soil and then they'll plant them. But we haven't got enough to fill it, so we have to trade for that or whatever we kind of find them out in the wild we've allowed all so the guys will put everything into here they'll build this this is just going to be um, a kind of community hall where I can put them all in for now so there's an example Zob is learning corn so until he learns that he can't do anything with it I think that's quite cool right we've got the initial base down I'm going to build a wall. I will cover everything off, but I'm just trying to keep it to 30 minute episodes. I will go, we'll also put a door on. Structure, doors, wood. It's all we can build with is wood. Cool. We'll let them do that and then we'll get the uh, roof on. Hopper. So we can do workbenches as well, crafting benches, butchering. We can butcher humans after we we'll kill them or orcs. Um, there's a forge as well to do things with metal, so armors. Uh, it really is quite, you know, quite in depth game. Now I want to I want to take this land away around the side as well. I haven't got many peeps, that's all. But to give you an idea, we can dig. So these here, this bit of land, I want to kind of take that away. And we'll just ask them to dig around just to create us a bit more space. Julio. And anything they find in here, if they find stone, they'll find um, kind of seams of copper. I think there's even gold in it. But that'll set that away. Just to, it's just to have them setting onto it. And eventually, at some point, I'd like to have kind of a wall around. But we need to build the town first. We need to build everything we need. We will have people visiting us, though. That's the main thing. I'm also going to build another structure. Once I can get this area sorted, we'll probably do an underground area. So if I wipe all of that away... 
this kind of section here. And I'll probably start at like an underground, just so it'll make more sense. Right, okay, Luan can level up. Level up. So we'll give us random. Our health's gone up, cool. Mining's gone up, building's gone up, and ranching's gone up. So I'm just going to check the jobs. Make sure that Luan, the ones that's went up, are covered off. Yeah, ranching wasn't, so I'll add ranching. And I'll probably just take a zero away. I'll take this one away. So I can just... All the way up to the... There you go. And that's gone. Because it was a zero, so there's no point. Right, <clears throat> the next button I want to show you is schedule again it's all autonomous at the minute but i want these guys to have at least some regular sleep otherwise they'll be kind of disappointed they'll get paid off and i also they will get hungry so i want to make sure that at least they are eaten um, twice the rest of it they'll do themselves okay you'll see in here stuff will keep coming on to what we can build but we haven't even set away um, crafting tables or anything yet um, we've used the bit of seed that we had. We can trade with guys when they come and visit us from the different areas. Um, we will have people who will just pop in. So I'm going to put on super speed to get them through the sleep. And why we're doing that, we'll look at belongings. This is the only thing we've got, a wooden hammer. So I'm just looking at a stone axe there. That's a level, that's a one prestige. So if I give him the hammer and take away the stone axe, he's a little bit better. He's going to need... Well, he doesn't like leggings, minus 36%, so we'll need to build something else for him, which will be called something else, either with skin or with metal armour. Um, but we don't have anything. Just early game. And I've asked for this stuff to be done, to be tamed, but we'll, we'll basically need more peeps. Right, here's their first kind of demand. So Luan wants a 1p bed. So I'll add our bills. If we go into furniture and beds, at the moment we can only build with straw. So if I put three beds in for my guys, uh, one, two, and three. Now how this works is they'll need straw to build it, and you get straw from. Wow, that's a lot. So I'll set it away to cut. Boom. The beds are owned by the kingdom. So, if you look here, it says, Owner, the Frosty Cutters, that's us. I want to give these to the guys when they're built. So I click on it, and I give one to GD. The next one to Zob. And the next one to Luan. When they're built, as long as it's above one prestige when they build it, um, that'll satisfy his want. And that's good. And all the prestige goes up by that one. So you've got to do all of this, build, think of foods, think of everything else, and we're going to get attacked. So it is quite cool. I want to show you the down, um, the kind of digging down as well. So hopefully it'll um, it'll make it easier. Bear in mind, this is going to be kind of the outside. So I'm thinking I'll probably just do it over here. I'm just going to add another part back here for them to dig down them three areas. Right, I'll slow it down a bit. So we've got some visitors. If we click on here, um, right, two things happened there. One, the bed was made so Luan is happy. We've got the 1p bed. So I can trade with Lance. He's just a wanderer. So he hasn't got super, super things here, high numbers, but we can try and recruit him, and I'll do it with you the first time. After that, I'll kind of cut away. Um, and if, you, if we do recruit him, we'll get what he's got anyway. So how you do it is we click on GD, we we'll right-click on Lance, and we speak to him. Put it up to that speed until he catches up with him. Right. We then ask them what's on their mind. What we're going to do is they'll ask us like random questions or tell us things, and we need to match their answers till he loves us. So this part is a little bit clunky, um, so I won't I won't show you any other ones. I'll just say, listen, I'm going to go and try and uh, sort that. 
So if I answered that, he would get paid off. So we'll just say, what else is on your mind? And we'll keep going. This is the only clunky part of the game, to be fair. And it is early access, so it might change. I don't like cooked humans. Right, the other thing to consider is, if you're doing this, when he's talking to Lance, if someone else can hear, your answer can also affect them. So just be aware of that. I am worried. I like myself. So yeah, it is just a teeny bit clunky for this part, but... Oh. As soon as he loves us, we'll, um, we'll get on. I don't like ranching. Cool. Now, what's our food like, too? Yeah, we're all right. Boots are to my liking. I like boots. Now, <clears throat> we're really doing this because we're kind of trying to force him to, to love us. Um, you do have them where they just come on and go... There'll be a message down here saying Lance from the, the Wanderers are visiting and they would like to join the clan or whatever. I like hats. I don't know how many people you can have as a max. I've got no idea. I'm just going to try and build up my numbers. And again, the more people I have, the more tasks I can get done. I think boars are clumsy. I hear boars. He should be about there. Yes, so he loves us. That's it. Once he loves us, as long as our prestige is high enough, he'll join us. So some people will come that are nobles. My guys are classed as nobles. Um, and if they they come, they're hard to recruit because you, the normal your prestige isn't high enough when I've done it in my tutorial. So click anywhere. Yay! <clears throat> okay. Right, so he's going to join us. So a couple of things. End the conversation. We'll see what jobs he likes. He's going to be good at that one. He's going to get a, a good improvement rate. He likes this because of the colour. So I'm going to give him that. But I'll just put the ones in first. Likes firefighting. And then I'll give him that because he likes it. Everything else is kind of irrelevant. Um, as you get your numbers up, you start looking down the line. Because if you've got something on zero, you might as well have him doing it. If you Let's say you had five people in here and they had twos and threes, then you would take the zero out. Again, it'll all make sense. Right, <clears throat> so we've built the walls. We can now do roofs. So I'll show you that. It is very easy. Only build with straw for now. And click across and it'll build a roof. Now, the reason it's disappeared is I've got my um, visibility with the roof set off. You can have it on like that. But because it's kind of 3D and we're going to be playing from up here and we'll literally go up and down levels, um, I'll be keeping the roofs off for the majority of the game. So there we go. That's that. Right, I'm going to let him do the roof. I'm going to also build another bed for our little friend. We can build more things as we kind of go up through the levels. But for now, I'm going to put a bed in here. And then I'm going to add some. The reason I'm going to add some is when we do have visitors, so this one here is going to be for... Who was the last one to join us? Who was I just bringing? Lance. Yeah, Lance. So we'll give the fourth bed, click on here, give it a lance, and then he's got a bed. The cool part is, when people visit us, we can rent them a bed. And they will give us, as you can see, one coin a day. So they'll come in, they'll have a budget for food and for coin. So we'll set that up. Another cool thing, just to show you why I'm on, um, you can change these. So you can change that to a wall. Have a look along and see, right, I'm going to put a window in that one. And a window in that one. They will also want things like light, torches, stuff like that. So if I go into lighten, for now, we can build torches. So I could say I'll have a torch there, a torch there, one there, one there. And this wall, one there, one there. And I'm just going to change that to a wall and you play with this until your heart's content but I think for us we'll have a couple of torches there one window on that side boom and I can put some couple of torches at the front again so you can have loads of um, of, of hours of 
of just playing around with your uh, with your designs. Some of you will love that. Right, let's get on super speed for now. I've only got one year's worth of food again, so I just want to uh, make sure that we have asked for them to be foraged to get us through. Anything I kind of see, I'm going to ask them to be tamed. Right, I think we'll try and get on with some crafting. So I did want to show you quite a bit for the um, the first part of the episode, the series. All right, let us do uh, build. And if I go into work, it's got benches. For now, all I can build is a crafting bench. So I'm just going to pop it outside. I will be moving it into a building of, at some point. But for now, we'll pop it outside. And if we get that done, we can start to build our basic tools, our basic clothings and we'll look at the guys individually and see what they need and, and get that done what else have we just learned oh sugar right so the man is drifters if you remember the when we're done the introduction this is who we left so they're going to attack us okay. but it's only early game so there should only be the one guy from what i remember right I'll just, he was coming here. So what I want to do is, I can click, shift click and just do them all. And then I'll fetch them over to here. If you look down the bottom left here, it says, I can press T to enlist or click the button. I want them enlisted so I can keep them all controlled and then I'll fetch them over here. I kind of want to fetch them together just for a bit of security. Now. I'm now going to right click on him to attack him, but, and some of you are going to absolutely love this, <laughs> it's not really my style, but you can press, remember when we were saying about the Contra and he can jump into his mortal kind of body, this is it, so we're a god looking down, but GD is connected to us, so if I press C, you can then get stuck in and fight yourself, and when you get bows, you can uh, fight your board people, okay? So some of you will love that. Right. Now, at the minute, he's just downed. He's not dead. Here's where it gets cool. I'll highlight all of these and tell them they're not to be enlisted. Yeah, he's gone. So, click on JD, right-click on Ponga, and execute him. Wallop. So he's been killed. Now, if we click on him... Um, We've set him up, he's going to go to the storeroom. Once he goes to the storeroom, we'll loot him. So somebody will, somebody will storm away and then we'll loot him and put up, get all his bits and bobs and find out if there's anything that he has that's good. I'll just click on GD. Who's still enlisted? Zob. So, um, click him off so he gets on with his jobs. He can level up. Let's see what he gets. Uh, mining's good, foraging and ranging. Right, let's have a quick look in the jobs. Uh, with Zob. So yeah, that's good. Oh, he doesn't like that one, does he? He dislikes it. So let me make sure I take that one off him. Just keep an eye on daft little bits that you forget about. Um, Logan, he likes. And again, you'll change these all the time. This guy likes Logan as well, to be fair. There you go. We'll change them constantly in the future. Right, there's nobody else visiting, is there? No. Let's get them away. Uh, I'm going to get Lance to store Punga. And then we'll be able to click on Punga again and ask him to loot him. And this time he'll just take all these bits off him. There you go. And what we'll do now is we'll go into the belongings button down here and we'll see what we've got. Oh, some pig hide boots. If you hover over them, it'll tell you who'll really love them. So Lance, it'll be like ecstatic. Pig hide boots. Give. Boom. Prestige of 32. And we'll take away his cloth shoes. I'll go back to GD though, because he is the leader. So cloth leggings. Give. Five, take away a four. So you should get the idea. We're just going to 
and we'll build it all the way up to armor and stuff like that I'm led to believe uh, shoes are all a four uh, his hammer's good though hammer's a four so I'll give that and take away the two and then and this is the kind of stuff you're just going to be checking on your guys or oh, we're going to be building stuff like this for our guys anyway make sure there's nothing I need a different type for him and the same right <clears throat> go so we're working on the crafting table we've got our basic kind of bed placed down just for them sleeping for now i do want them to have their own rooms or apartments or whatever we end up building um i do want that but, you know we'll have to see as it grows and we're still waiting for people to come in so there you go guys this is noble fates and we've just scratched the surface uh, i just want to make sure i've covered off everything in here so we have you know about the stockpiles you know about the work button you do have a food button so you can have um you can set it up because you can get prisoners and stuff like that but at the minute the nobles can eat um everything uh, we haven't got grapes we've got one count we don't want them eating them i think we're going to turn them into wine and i'm hoping in the future um, so you can have serve some prisoners and decide what they can have and what they can't have if we can um tame some cows we'll get milk and the other buttons down here is the kingdoms so as soon as we meet someone or they attack us it'll show us where they are i'm led to believe we can attack them as well so we'll look into that uh, learning this is a little bit clunky so we have to go up the building levels here before we can unlock these uh, so just to add some more meat to the bone on that let's say it was gd you got building level two it would open all of these if he got killed it would lock them down again until someone else got to that level so again it's early access we don't have to research these we just have to keep the guys alive long enough that they can build certain things it tells you here so luan can do cloth leggings so can lance and luan do cloth tunics yeah so that's all that is again we'll, we'll spend a bit more time looking at that um, but that's it so all the buttons are covered um, the game hasn't even started there's a gazillion things I'm looking forward to the next episode already because I want to show you is uh, digging down and looking 3d through the different layers it's absolutely cool so we'll get on that so if you think you're gonna like it uh, hit the like button consider subscribing and get in the comments and let us know what you think cheers guys bye for now